my name is the Backhouse Tau Forset. Today's instrument is also known as a towel clamp in many of your facilities. And this particular model that we're looking at today is five and a quarter inches long. In measuring your towel clips, you're going to measure from the ring handle to the tip. Now the nice thing about this instrument is it's uh, very different looking from the majority of the clip the clips and clamps that you would see in a traditional surgical tray. What is very important to realize is this is one of the most common instruments that can cause injury in the cleaning and assembly stage because the tips of this device are so sharp. As you can see, as this device closes on the very tip here, they're actually a cross action. You can see they kind of come past one another on the very tip. Well, that is obviously to help uh, to hold uh, towels and linen in the surgical procedure. But what's important to know about this is depending on how that tray has been processed through the decontamination phase, it can easily be positioned outside of the surgical tray, kind of poking through the edges and the holes in your surgical tray, or it could be positioned like this, facing up in your surgical tray, which would be very easy for an unsuspecting assembler to accidentally poke themselves on those tips. So be very careful on any tray that you learn has a towel clip or towel clamp inside of it. Um, even though this model is not a non-perforating, this is clearly a perforating model, there are non-perforating towel clips. And if you see those, those will have blunt edges here on the tip. And oftentimes they look like little squares that will come together instead of crossing like this, they'll just come and touch. As with any of our hinged instruments, you're going to want to make sure that you're inspecting in this hinged area for any bio burden or residual debris. And as always, if you do have a ratchet on the end of these ring handles, you're going to want to make sure that that ratchet closes appropriately and stays closed. You can do the little tap test on the table to make sure that that happens. Okay, so this is the Backhouse Tau Forcep, and as I mentioned before, this is a five and a quarter length example. But you can also get uh, a smaller length, like a three and a half inch length. And we would like to uh, thank our sponsor uh, for providing these Koenig and First instruments in these videos. So thank you to Medline for sponsoring this surgical instrument education. As always, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hello, My Name Is, and keep fighting dirty.